Let's summarize where we've been with um, what I'll call information structure basics. First, there's the concept of information structure itself, which is that you can think of information as having some form, as having some structure, as being able to be, I don't want to say standardized exactly, but fashioned according to a plan of obeying certain rules, of being able and amenable to manipulation because it's, it has a particular structure. And so the structures that we've talked about are information types and their associated information items and access structures, right? Those are the information structures that we've focused on. And of course, I've said that that's a simplistic view of information. That's a, almost an absurdly simplistic view of information. But surprisingly and impressively, it allows us to do amazing things with information. It's the basis of all information systems that you'll come across in the world, whether or not that information system itself recognizes that it's consisting of a set of information types organized by access structures, I've contended that you can think of it that way and that that's a very good mental model for thinking about the way information is structured, even if it's not the ultimate model for thinking about the way information could be or, or, or possibly really is structured. So the concept of information structure, really important and the basis of everything that we've done. There are information types, those information types define the categories or the types or the kinds of information that we want to manage. There are access, there are, there are, sorry, there are information items. Each item belongs to a particular type. That means it follows the rules of that type. And that gives us the ability to group, say, a thousand items into only ten types. And we deal with the ten types, not the thousand items. And that's really important. That's the basis of being able to get leverage and deal with large bodies of information. Break it down into different types and, have, and then deal with the types in general. And every instance or every item of that type is, is, is uh, assumed to behave the same way. So that's information items and information types. And then access structures, those ways that we organize the information items so that we can manage them as managers. We can find them, and we can process them, and we can do what we need to do with them. And, it, and ultimately, more importantly, that end users can find them. So we take those access structures and we render them. We turn them into navigational structures, or navigational widgets, as I've, as I've called them. And users use those widgets to find the items of interest. And now there's a, no, I, won't go, I won't go to the, to the slamming it back together again part. I'll, I'll leave that for other lectures, because right now I want to focus on giving you solidly in your mind these concepts of access structure, information type, and information item. Really the basics, the basic basics. What comes before those basics and allows us to start talking about those basics? Two things. The first one is the idea of modeling. That we can take a very complicated and intricate and undifferentiated information context and we can boil it down to a model of that context. And we've talked about how that model is a way of simplifying things, a way of focusing things, a way of honing our view on only those parts of the information context that are going to make most difference to us, that we're going to have to manipulate, that people are going to want to see. And by boiling down a general information context to a very specific model, we're able to then take control of that information context and collect, store, and deliver the information in the ways that we need to in order to get what we want out of that context. Maybe we want to inform people. Maybe we want to persuade people. Maybe we want to entertain people. Whatever it is we're trying to do, we construct the model that allows us to extract those qualities of the information types um, out of the undifferentiated mass of information, focus in on them, be able to make sure that each item of information carries those significant, um, those significant elements. And I've used that word element to be the, sub, the subclassification of, of information types and deliver them to people. So that idea of modeling is really, really important, and it's really foundational. We're extracting a model of the information context. The second thing that stands behind our study of, of information structure is the idea of markup. A markup language is a tool. The markup language isn't the structure. The markup language is a tool that allows us to represent the structure. So we've used the tool of schemas to encode our models. That's where our model lives. A model is a set of assumptions and a set of categorizations, a set of naming activities, and a set of rules that define an information context. Well, that's where that is. We put them in schemas. The schema is a tool for representing that. Is it the only tool? No, clearly you, can put, you could have written that on the wall if you wanted to, but instead we chose schemas to, to 
to actually encode our information items and our access structures, we've used the tool of instances. An XML instance is a place where I can play out the model and I can actually create something that behaves according to the model. And finally, to create presentations, end user ready, um, uh, friendly presentations of the information items as well as the access structures and then to be able to link access structures and items so that a user can quickly move from information uh, from access structure to the information items that the access structure organizes we've used transforms for that and the transforms take the 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 instance the instantiation of the model that is in the instance and turn it into an end user view that's convenient for the user to, to, to move through in order to find the information that they want.